Not now. That was not a request, Lucy. Oh, stop, Charlie. The time has come for you to reap what you've soon. 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 I am the master. You are my mistress. But wait, but, but Charlie, but... Babe, that's your line. Charlie rips off Lucy's bloomers and enters her from behind. It's animalistic. Passion exuding out of every pore. Is this for real? Yeah. Is this a real thing? Babe, this is not good. This is not good writing, and it's actually, like, very degrading to women, and I feel like we sort of see eye to eye on the feminism issue, you know what I mean? Can we just do another take, please? R-E-S-P-E-C-T. Find out what it means to you. All right, from the top. From the animalistic fucking or before that? Can we just Do you want to go right before the animalistic fucking? Can we just take it from the top? The top of the fucking or the top of the scene? <sighs> 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 Get you off? No, I'm okay. Oh, God, I can't believe I ate all that ice cream last night. I had a crazy fucking dream. I feel so bad. I wish. <sighs> Shut up. Yeah, another 20 pounds. That's such a lie. You're right. 30, 30 pounds. <laughs> Shut up. Uh, we were on this train to India. It was like... All these snakes on board. These like little spiders. It was like, like something about the little spiders. I can't remember. And then you were there and you almost got attacked by like this lion or something like that. And like, I, can't, I tried to save you and I couldn't. And I kept going like, I should have gotten that gun. I should have gotten that gun. I should have gotten that gun. Mm. Maybe I should write your movie about that. I don't need suggestions. I thought you were stuck. I'm stuck. I think I'm gonna get a gun. We can't have guns. Uh, we're liberals. I don't give a shit. If shit goes down, we're gonna want guns. I mean, I think we should probably get jobs first. <laughs> Thank you. Mm -hmm. What's your deal today? Are you writing? Yep. Feeling inspired. Really? Fuck yeah, babe. Bye. Right, Love you. Bye. Have a good time. I made you PB and J. 
You're the best. Also, Jim's out there smoking pot. Don't just go smoke pot with him, okay? No, I, I don't even do that. I will not. I cannot and I won't. No, you can't because I'm getting old and my eggs are about to shrivel up and die and I want to have your babies and have a happy family. And so we need to work hard and make money, okay? I'm all about it. Love you. Love you too. Your eggs aren't going to shrivel up and die. Yeah, they are. Don't smoke pot. Smoke what? I couldn't. I'm sorry. I don't. I couldn't hear you. Love you. Hey, how are you doing? How's, how's Katie? We're good. Good. Did it ever bother you that she's such an ass kicker? And you're just a stoner? not just a stoner. Of course you're not. She's not just an ass kicker. No one's just one thing. For sure, man. And that's what, that's really what makes human beings so awesome, is that it's our flaws that make us beautiful. And only when you can love yourself can you truly love somebody else. Where do you get this stuff, man? It's just out there, you know? It's in the air. You just gotta listen. Listen in the universe to tell you all its secrets. No, the weed. Oh, my cousin grows it up in NorCal. Nice. Smoking hot, right? Yeah, <laughs> I wish I looked like that. <laughs> uh, I just, I love that you just, you just stopped by. Yeah. <laughs> That's great. Oh, uh, great tape for um, Masters Maiden, by the way. Oh, mm -hmm. good, mm -hmm. great, thanks. Yeah, which which take did you choose? Oh, what you sent was was great. There, were, I sent two takes. One was like more um, just grounded, mm -hmm. and then the other was kind of like mm -hmm. just a little bit more frantic, like mm -hmm. more like. Uh, it's uh, great. Uh, yeah, you, you, you're familiar with the book, the erotic fiction set in 19th century England. Yeah, yeah of course you are. <laughs> I mean, chicks love that S and M shit. <laughs> it's sexy stuff. Okay, really, I went right. through that book super fast. I mean, how about Brian? All right, going straight from an Oscar to directing a cable miniseries. Crazy. Crazy. <laughs> I guess he's obsessed with the book or some shit. I hear he's a fucking maniac, but uh, hey, talent's talent, right? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, speak of the devil, uh, Rebecca Moss had that part the audition for Unlock, but she's like right now, so she had to drop out last minute to go shoot this new P.T. Anderson thing. Everybody's pissed off. Uh, I mean, obviously, going with you would be going a completely different direction, but, uh, you know, they start shooting next week, so <laughs> they're fucked if they don't find somebody. Oh, good. You got any movie ideas, Luffy? How's writing going? Great. Are you stoned? No. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. What's wrong? Nothing. Are you sure? I'm kind of in the zone here, babe. Oh, okay, super, super quick. Casting loved my master's maiden tape. Oh, that was a sex one, right? 
not just a sex one. It would be a huge opportunity for me. Brian J. Macy is directing, and he wrote it, and he's going to play the lead. <laughs> he sucks. He just won an Oscar. Yeah, well, awards are stupid. What is wrong with you? Nothing. I'm great. Other than the fact that I'm broke and can't sell a movie. I mean, I think you need to write one first. Fuck money. Fuck money? I'm just bum people need money for stuff. It sucks. Okay. Well, I just pulled up out front and I was gonna need to do my Pilates tape. So can I use the living room? Oh, I'm using the space right now. For how long? For as long as it takes. Well, can you give me an estimate? By the way, you know you're not gonna get a job just by working out, right? Ugh, like you're the supreme expert on how to get a job. You fuck Alex Wilson Dixon, by the way. Where is that coming from? It comes from me having to see his stupid face on billboards every day for his stupid, not funny show. Rebecca Moss is on the cover of fucking Perceive. Oh, give me a break, okay? She gave me half a blowjob one time. You had full sex with him. No, I didn't. I just hooked up with him. And what is half a blowjob? Well, apparently it's half the amount of blowjob you gave Alex Wilson Dixon. By the way, we're going there tonight. He's having that dinner party at his house. So can you please just figure out a way to get over it? I'm not going to that shit, all right? I already told you, I hate your stupid actor friends. They sit around just trying to pump each other up, trying to act like their lives are so great, which I got news for them. They're not, okay? I got other shit to do, by the way. I'm sorry, but smoking pot and jerking off does not constitute other shit to do. Okay, I was not jerking off. I'm not going to that thing because I'm going shopping for a gun. You're going gun shopping, like, tonight? I'm going to start in the daytime, in the late afternoon, probably, when my schedule clears up, and then I'm going to continue until I find the gun that I like. It's probably going to take me into nightfall. Why do you want a gun? For protection. From what? From the fucking elements, babe. Are you kidding me? From evil. Evil? You are a vulnerable woman. You need to be protected. That's where I come in, with a gun. Honestly? If you want to protect me, then make some money. You think money's going to keep you fucking secure when someone is banging down your door trying to steal your fucking food and kill you? No one's going to bang down our door if we're living in the Hollywood Hills. Why not? Because we're in the hills, away from violent, hungry people. And those people, they can't walk up a hill? Man? No. Why not? Because they're too hungry. <laughs> You're fucking... Are you kidding me? It's not a You're joke. Fucking... That's for real. Are you kidding me? That is so idiotic. That is the most fucking idiotic thing I've ever heard. You know what? If you think money's going to keep you secure, just go ahead and leave me, all right? And then just go marry some rich dickhead like Alex Wilson Dixon. How about that? Alex Wilson Dixon, Such your mouth. Dick. It's already been in there. It's so it's like dick. sort of old territory for you. You can you just keep honestly, on fucking sucking his dick. Honestly, you can marry him and get a bunch of fucking money. And then you and can feel fuck rich. Fuck money. Listen to me. I have be quiet. Be quiet. Be quiet and listen to me. Like you can man? have money and then you're going to mistake that for a sense of self-worth. Maybe I will fucking marry a rich dude. You're still going to hate yourself even when you're rich. You're still going to hate yourself. I'm not a big fucking truth. The fucking truth. I have to answer you that. You hate yourself. I have to answer that. It's the fucking that. truth. Why? It's my Why? agent. So what? Hello? What? I got the part. What what part? The Master's Maven. I guess Brian G. Macy watched my tape and said I was this said I was this girl. So I got it. And um production starts next week in England. Isn't that insane? <laughs> this is gonna be huge. Okay. Oh my god. I have to stop eating. I'm gonna be in like corsets and shit. Fuck. How long are you gonna be gone for? Six months. Oh. You'll come visit, obviously. Why? So I can have front row seats to Brian J. Macy fucking my girlfriend? No, thank you. I can't believe you're making this about you right now. This is a huge opportunity for me. I gotta go. Where? Coach Improv. Okay. Well. I nope. can't be seen drinking OJ. Do you know what kind of political ramifications there'll be? I'm a black man. 
Black men drink, OJ. Listen, stop, guys. This is why Capitol Hill's going downhill. Scene. Okay, um, that was okay. Was it? I, I don't, I don't know. Be real. Make a decision. What's unusual? Play that, okay? Next scene. Hey, Rumi, don't, uh, don't forget that rent's due next week. Oh, no, I totally forgot. I'm completely broke right now. What? What are you talking about? What are we supposed to do? Well, if you can find a way to cover me, I can maybe find a way to repay you. I'm not quite sure what you mean by that. You know, I could do you a favor. Yeah? Yeah, like a special, sexy kind of favor. What do you mean by special? You know what I mean. Scene. Okay, great. Uh, so what's the joke? Uh, sorry, what's your name again? Abigail, or Abby, either way. Abigail, okay, so what's the joke? Like, what's the game? That you're trying to be sexy? Yeah. yeah. What is that? Okay, here's the thing. Like, here's a better question. Where does that lead? You know what I mean? Like, what if he says yes, then what? Like, you guys have improv sex, and what? Like, we sit here and watch you guys, like, do this. You're having, like, improv sex, you know what I mean? Like, it seems <laughs> funny and cute. The problem is, it's a slippery slope. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's like, first you're having an improv sex, then you're okay with that. The next thing you know, you're auditioning to be someone's sexual submissive, and then after that, you're letting some Oscar-winning fuckhead stick his dick in you because that's what you think it takes to be an actor. Next scene. <laughs> don't tase me, bro. No, I don't get me wrong. I'm incredibly grateful for my job for so many different reasons. I mean, not the least of which is that it's made me a heavy hitter in the Twitter sphere, which I don't really care about. I, no, honestly, I don't. It but, counts. Well, it does. I mean, it's a, an amazing platform for my charity work, so. And then you've got the cast, and uh, and the crew is amazing, except for you know who. I'm not going to say any names. I don't like saying anything bad about anybody. But you know who I'm talking about. And yet, some days, you just think, is this really making the world a better place? You make tens of millions of people laugh every week. You cannot underestimate the power of that. No, I, I, I don't. I don't. I appreciate it. I just... You know, sometimes it gets a little rough when you're... <sighs> I'm such a douche. No. I am. You aren't. We I totally am. get it. Wait a minute. Stop this. This is... Tonight is about you. Beautiful. Stop. No, it is. I just want to say congratulations on your job. This is going to be huge for you. Huge. To Katie. Thank you. Jeez. You know how long it's been since New York? God, so long. Do you remember Ubuwa? Yes, yes, of course I right? remember At the Ubuwa. village culture? Yes. You were amazing. No, you were. You were. <laughs> you were. No, you, you no. stole that Do you remember the last show. night party? <gasps> At that pub. Oh, I'm surprised you remember. <laughs> this one gets up on the bar. Oh. Unprompted, mind you, and grabs onto one of the pipes and starts, you were pulled it. <gasps> I forgot about that. Oh, yeah, I didn't. I didn't forget. Because then I walked you home. <laughs> yeah. Right? I'm sorry. Hey, no, no, no. No, it takes you back. Don't be sorry, dude. Okay? I am glad that you guys hooked up. I think it's awesome. You could even probably say that I'm kind of stoked that you guys hooked up. We all need loving. Right? We're all human. I wasn't around back then. I'm glad that you were to give it to her, okay? Because, hey, what are you going to do? Not hook up with somebody on the closing night of Ubu Hua? You know what I mean? After she did a sexy pole dance? Are you kidding me? In New York City? Sexiest city in the whole world. It's awesome. I'm so, I'm so, I'm so pumped that you guys hooked up that night. <clears throat> Great. When I'm acting, I'm, I'm the character. The character is me. There's no difference. Mm. I don't get into character. Mm. There is no process of approaching the character, and there is no process of removing myself from the character. Transcendent words from a transcendent man, Brian J. Macy. What are you looking at? My pleasure. Uh -huh. What are you looking at? I think just whatever.
Okay. You know, you still haven't said congratulations. This is a huge job for her. You need to support your girl. I know, man. It's just, it's just so far away for so long. All right. That all may be true, but I don't think that's what's really bothering you. What are you talking about? Your girlfriend is playing Lucy Brighton in The Master's Maiden, where she plays the maiden who's taken on a long journey into the depths of sexual ecstasy, where the lines of pleasure and pain are blurred. You read the book five times. Look, I get it. It must be weird. I, I don't know. I've never dated an actress. It's weird. Plus, it's pay cable, so she's probably going to have to show her boobs a whole bunch. Right? I mean, it's like basically porn. Why is she agreeing to do this? Master's Maiden is not porn. It's beautiful. You should read it. I'm good. OK, look, I understand that on a primal level, this must be hard. You know, thinking of the woman you love being physical with another man, even if it is just acting. But think about her. Put yourself in her shoes. She's got to be freaking out right now with her body issues and whatnot. I mean, come on, man. The last thing she needs is her boyfriend making her feel like she's a whore. It's my two cents. Babe, I'm super sorry for the rough few days we've had. We make it so much easier. Just blame mom and dad. I realize what I need to do to remedy the situation. Offer you my undying support and a long. Overdue congratulations. Congratulations, Katie. Me and Lofi made this. Thanks, babe. That's so sweet. And you. I'm sorry for how I reacted. You're a beautiful, sexy woman. You deserve to embrace that. You should dive into this experience. I'm gonna be right there with you, okay? I wanna be your man and support you in this. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Thanks, I love you. You smell good. Thanks. This is so sweet. You smell good. <laughs> I'm dominating you. What? I'm the master. I'm dominating you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, babe, I can't hear what you're saying. You know, like, like Master's Maiden on the mat. Never mind. Oh, no, 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 no. Now I get it. I, babe, I, I just couldn't hear you. No, I'm sorry, forget it. What? No, no, it's great. You can be the master. No. Yeah, come Babe, you're the master. You're dominating me. Don't patronize me. I'm, babe, I'm not. I'm not. I'm just a fragile little girl that's helpless under your domineering power. I need you to keep dominating me. Seriously, it's turning me on. Fine. I'll keep dominating you. Okay. Oh. Oh. Dominating you. Take me again. I got another one in me. For the lark sings, dear God, take me again. It's from the script. Isn't that beautiful? I love that line. Do you want to do it again, though? 
I should work out. Mm-hmm. Brian Jay Macy wants to get together tonight and discuss character stuff. Oh, yeah? That's awesome. It's not insane. Yeah. <gasps> oh, wait, it's your show tonight. That's okay. I mean, you know, this is obviously more important. I love coming to your shows. And you're very sweet, but baby, gotta go. You're the best. I know that. Thanks for understanding. Yeah. Gotta support my girl. Oh, my God. What, what? am I gonna wear? Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> the toughest decision of all, oh. huh? Okay. <laughs> you may not care about yourself, but maybe you will talk if I promise not to hurt your girlfriend. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa! Girlfriend. <laughs> Who said girlfriend? I, I feel like we're just kind of hanging out. <laughs> Thank you. Wow. It's so beautiful here. Yeah. I wish I was a boat. Maybe then I'd feel still inside. Every time I get back on land, restlessness returns. I love that you sail. What a powerful thing to do. Just like wrestle with the wind and the ocean like that. I have these moments when I'm out on the boat. You find a line, you get locked into it. Everything else just fades away. I need you to let go. Of what? Of everything. Nothing can come in between us. Not right now. Yeah, 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 sure. Thanks for coming. Yeah, I've seen you perform like three times. You're amazing. <laughs> Thank you. So I'm sorry about the other day in class with that whole sexy, how do I pay my rent scene. So embarrassing. And you were totally right. And I just don't want you to think I'm like a slut or anything. No, 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 no. I, that's totally my fault. I was just going through like weird personal shit, you know, but like definitely don't worry about it. Okay, you're doing great. Thanks. Um, well, I know that technically I'm like your student or whatever, so maybe this is weird, but I have a lot of weed in my car and no one to smoke it with. Is there any chance you want to come smoke some with me? Jump by Criss Cross and jump around by House of Pain. Mm -hmm. 92 was the year for jumping songs, end of story. Yeah, but like in 83, you had Jump For My Love. 
Pointer Sisters, the greatest grouping of musicians ever <laughs> formed. Oh, yeah? Heck yeah. <laughs> and Jump by Van Halen, so can't sleep on 83. Ah, very true. Fresh greens. Cool, thanks. I probably shouldn't tell you this because I don't want you to think I'm like a stalker or whatever, but I have seen like every one of your videos. Oh yeah? Mm -hmm. Cool, thanks. There's some clunkers in there. <laughs> well, I like them. Right on. Yeah. Oh, and I love that web series you did like with the girl about the couple moving in together. Mm -hmm. Who's that girl in it with you? She looks so familiar. Uh, my girlfriend. Oh. Cool. Really stoned. <laughs> right? Yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> Muchas gracias for the herbage. Rough. Appreciate that. May ja bless you on your journey. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Rest. Oh, hey, um, can I get your number? And not for like a date or anything. I'm starting another improv group and we wanted you to be our coach. Oh, yeah, for sure. Cool. Cool. You're cold. Yeah. Where's my jacket? Oh, no, 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 no. That's okay. Sam, give her my jacket, please. Oh, you. I really don't need it. Oh, all right. Thanks. Thank you. Can I, can I have one? You know, women shouldn't smoke cigarettes. I don't really. It's really disgusting. Open it. Oh my God, you're Brian J. Macy. I, I'm sorry. I'm. A, I'm sorry, right, man. Don't worry about it. What's your name? Huge fan. I'm Eric. Hey. Hey, game of Chester. I gotta tell you that. Uh, you know, I. I Champ. Oh, hey, babe. What you got on there? Uh, Brian gave it to me. It's just, I guess, to work on character stuff or something. Is that what you're wearing in the show? Uh, I mean, not this exactly. I was researching courses from the period, and this is actually a little too modern. But yeah, something like this. Do you like it? Love it. Oh, also, I woke up to a text from Brian saying that he wants to have us over to his house tonight for a little dinner slash meet and greet with the producers. It's gonna be tough for me. Why? It's just the writing, you know? I had a lot of breakthroughs yesterday, and I mean, I gotta see him through. I gotta strap myself to the beast. I mean, you know how it is. Uh, well, could you just not like, be that late? The life of an artist, you know? It's tough. I'm gonna try and make it, though. I'll definitely try and be there. What time is it at? Eight. Like, eight? Oh. I'll make it work. You submit a personal firearms eligibility check application, along with 20 bucks and your ID. Get that notarized and include your right thumbprint. That's gonna take 30 to 120 days to come back. Then you're gonna wanna take the personal handgun safety test, which is 30 questions. I'm gonna go ahead and cut you off right there, all right? This just all feels like a lot. You know what I mean? Uh, is there any way to kind of just like, Bypass the red tape. Uh, in what way? What do you mean? 
How can I put this? You know like in Taxi Driver, when he goes and he meets that guy in the hotel room and the guy's got all the briefcases full of guns and he's like, that's a 38 Magnum. That's a snub nose. I just sell high quality goods to the right people. Do you know of any stuff like that? Get out. I'm gonna the look. store. Okay, I'm just gonna just, let me throw this one at you. I'll give you $72 cash up front for that shotgun, no questions asked, out the door. Absolutely not. Okay. Leave now. Okay. Thank you, thank you, thank you for seeing me so last minute. <laughs> I am like freaking out about this. It's so much pressure. You're like the only acting teacher I trust in LA. Uh. Uh. <laughs> okay. Hi. Hi. Uh -huh. So what can I do for you, Katie? Uh, well, I told you in the email, I think that I got this Heart. Master, the master's maiden. The master's maiden. Okay. <laughs> Which, you know, I mean, that's gonna be like huge. Mm. What's huge about it? Yeah. Mm hmm. Why do you think you attracted this part at this point in your life? Maybe like something about being sexy. Do you think you're sexy enough to play this part? I mean, I guess I am, or they wouldn't have cast me, <laughs> right? I don't know. Uh, so yeah, so can we just like go over some of the- Love yourself. Okay. Yeah, okay. Love. Yourself. I mean, I do pretty much. Who are you? Hey, yeah, hi, this is Paul, uh, Katie's boyfriend. Hello? Hello? Wait there. But remember, okay, we are the last line of defense for these poor villagers. I look up and, and I see this kid. More than six years old, no shirt, no shoes. He's running towards me as fast as he can. He's shivering. Hey, Mr. Macy's not expecting you. Oh, well, my girlfriend. Look, you're not on the list. I can't let you in. All right, well, look, I'm just going to call her. What am I going to do? Am I going to leave this, this child? And I remembered where I am. The lieutenant's yelling at me, you know, come on, come on! You gotta get back on the helicopter! So I, I, I grab this child up in my arms, and I... I run for the helicopter, and all of a sudden, just pop! His head explodes. <sighs> Fucking voicemail, dude. Damn it. Look, I get it. You're here to protect Brian from, like, crazy stalkers and shit. I'm not that I wouldn't be here if my girlfriend wasn't doing some shitty series with him, to be honest with you. Not even a fan of Brian J. Macy. I actually think he's kind of a hack. Still not going to let you in. Yeah. All right, well, I'm going to go then. I always thought the line between life and death was thin. But it took that moment for me to know 
There is no line at all. That is so powerful, Brian. Yeah, it is. I'm sort of breaking into your house. Brian J. Macy, uh, your guy wouldn't let me in. Katie wasn't picking up her phone. Oh, I'm sorry. My phone, it was inside. It's cool, Ben. Cool tiny bridge, man. Hey, what the fuck? Dennis, Dennis, it's OK. It's all right. He can stay. Yeah, I'm sorry. I went behind your back, man. Yeah, man. Thank you. He's a good guy, and that he just wouldn't let me in. I'm sorry. Are you OK? Yeah, yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Hey, hey. So, Paul, Brian, Brian, Paul. Nice to meet you. No big deal, because you're here now, but I was kind of hoping it would just be people from the show. What's that? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Gotta watch out for this guy, huh? <laughs> OK. Anybody hungry? Hmm. Go inside. What are you drinking, apple? Apple teeny. You don't, OK. That's cool. Brian made it. I trip, I look down, it's this guy's foot. He's been curled up underneath one of the desks at the preschool, whacked out of his mind yeah. on drugs. Well, who knows where he's been the other two days. Uh, Parents uh, didn't know that he was doing that's what, the drugs. That's what, this was his process, you know? So we're All like, right. get him in the wardrobe and get yeah. him in the scene. Uh, yeah. I said, Brian, get up, we got work to do here. Come on, let's do the scene. Yeah. Yeah. What, what, is, it, what does he say? say? What does he say? He says, my, my name is Chester. Chester. Ah! The guy is still in character. Yes. Wow. Take it. Take it. I can talk about it all day. Yeah, I can talk about it all month. Oh, I'm just happy to do it with you guys again. Yeah. So, Bill, you said you're an actor too. Paul. Sorry. Yeah, Paul. No, no, it's cool, man. Yeah, I'm an actor. You know, I haven't won any Oscars. <laughs> yeah, I act. You know, I do a lot of comedy stuff. Uh, Paul's an amazing improviser. Nah, I'm all right. Babe. The, uh, the Upright Bridge. Oh, yeah. It's upright real big bridge, right now. Bridge service? Yeah. Hmm? They it's, a, it's, it's a comedy thing. Yeah. No, I don't. It's like a comedy club. It's real big. You should check that out. Pete, you got to do that. It's Bill. Bill. Paul. I want to thank all of you for being here with me. It's, uh, it's a real pleasure to dine with you. But most of all... I would like to thank my little Katie Bear for being so open and, and willing to go on this journey with me. This thing is about to get so real so fast. built halfway through my first draft of Master's Maiden. I refused to enter it until it was complete. I wanted to experience it for the first time, just like Lucy, to really get inside of her while I was writing. What is that like for her? To feel a level of arousal that she's probably never known.
Hello. Oh, um. Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, thanks. Bye. I'm leaving tomorrow now. What? Why? I don't know. Something about a location backing out or something. I don't know. Do you know what time you're leaving yet? Car's coming at noon. So much. I do. Hey, what do you want to do in our last day together? God, honestly, babe, I have so much to do. I don't even know how much time we're going to have together. What? <sighs> what are you talking about? I have to pack and get a wrap. I can't believe I drank so much last night. I'm going to be bloated for days. Hi. Hi, is there any chance at all that you have time for a detoxifying contour wrap today? I know. Okay, thanks. You're gonna get a wrap instead of spend time with me? I have to, babe. I'm gonna be like naked and shit for this thing. What do you think, Loaf? Is this crazy? Are we gonna get killed or something? Oh boy. I just had the detoxifying contour wrap. Um, with Michael? Yes. I have a three o'clock. Okay. Rebecca? Mm-hmm. It's Katie. Uh, um, I'm really good friends with Alex Wilson Dixon. He's introduced us a couple of times. And then um, also we're both with Gordon at Synchronous. So. Oh. Yeah, I'm. I just had the detoxifying contour wrap, so I must look totally insane. <laughs> I did no. not recognize you. I know. How, how have you been? Good. I'm good. It's actually so crazy that I'm running into you right now because I'm actually going to do that mini series that you, I guess, aren't available for. Oh. Um, Masters made it. Right. Hey, yeah. congrats. Thank you. Yeah. But oh my God. P.T. Anderson, you must be flipping out. I mean, Paul's a good friend, so when he called and asked me to do this, I just felt like I had to, you know? And secretly, I was happy to get out of that miniseries thing. I mean, doesn't it feel like you're getting tied up and fucked over and over again in like a dungeon or whatever? I mean, it, not to say it's just, uh, it's gonna be an awesome job for you. I just mean, it's, um. No, yeah, I get it. I totally get it. Objectifying. Yeah. Totally. <laughs> yeah. So the contour wrap, that works for you? Yeah. I mean, this is only the second time I've done it, but the first time I totally saw results. Weird. I kind of felt like it was bullshit. Really? Yeah. If I were you, I mean, this is what I do when I want to lose weight super fast. What? I just put on like the thickest, warmest sweats I can find, like a wool hat or whatever, a hat. And I do jumping jacks for three hours straight. Three hours? You will wake up tomorrow and be super skinny. Yeah, people will be worried about you. I gotta take this. Oh, yeah, 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 here, go, go, go. 
Is that Rebecca Moss? Yeah. Uh, she's so beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Hey. Bye. is like taxi driver. What? Please pardon my insolence, master. It was wrong of me to say it. Please pardon my insolence, master. Hey. Hey, just checking in. You okay? Yeah, yeah, just working out. How are you? Are you getting writing done? You know, it's a lot of digging and throwing stuff out, but uh, yeah. Um, Take a break, probably take love to the dog park. Oh, great! Yeah, Shalana. Yeah, and then we'll just come home around five like we planned. Okay, great. Sounds good. Love you. Thanks. I, I love you too. Please pardon me. Please pardon me. It's the next master. Hey! Lucy, I'm downstairs. Let me in. I, I can't. What's I what? It's Charlie. Open the door. I'm downstairs. Open the door. Um, I'm sorry it's not such a great time right now, Brian. Call me Charlie. Um, okay. Uh, yeah, just, 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 uh, <clears throat> give me five minutes. Okay. Hey. 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 Sam, I'm so sorry. I have to push back our plans tonight. Why? Because Brian G. Macy just showed up. What? At our place? Why? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know, babe. Honestly, I don't know. He just showed up. I think he meant maybe he wants to rehearse or something. Are you taking a bath? Yeah, obviously. I'm all sweaty and gross. I'll call you so soon. We're going to be done really soon. Babe, I love you. Okay. Hello? What did you say? Nothing. Oh. <laughs> I was just waiting for you to get closer. Oh, well, here I am. What did you want to say? Nothing. Hello. Hello. <laughs> oh my god, is that your dog? Yeah. He's so cute. What's his name? Uh, her name's Lofi. Oh, her name. Sorry. It's quite all right. It's very common. Not, mm. not a problem. She's not offended. Mm, I can tell. She's a badass bitch. Yeah, she's a tough cookie. Yep. She's good. Um. What's up? Do you do you want to get high? On weed? Yeah, on, on weed. <laughs> I could do that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You have it? I mean, not on me, but at my place. Oh shoot. Doesn't really help us here, does it? I, well, I, I could go back and get it. Nah. You're already here. You already came. That's fine. 
I don't have to smoke weed all the time. I can just be a regular human. Or we could go back to my place. Yeah. Yeah? I mean, do you want to do that? Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's where the weed is. Good point. Yeah. Um. I'm really close. Yeah, I'll show you. Okay. Good, but I'm, I'm okay. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just I'm not much of a cook, actually. So, um, do That's you fine. want a soda pop? Yeah, I'll take a pop. Okay. I'll take a pop. Thank you. I'll trade you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> So what are you working on these days? This and that, writing a movie. Holy shit, that's amazing. I would love to read it. No, it's not done yet. Can I read some of it? Definitely not. Boo, that's boring. Oh, I'm so hot. Last summer in Paris, I took this clowning class. It was this like awesome old French teacher who would basically tell us that we sucked and we weren't funny, but it was like amazing, you know? Who would always tell us to like fuck us meaning focus, you know? Um, do you know Commedia at all? No, I don't think so. Okay, well there's this thing it's called entrances and exits, right? And so you start behind the thing and then you just like you enter, right? And you have to be in a state. It's gotta be like happy, anger, fear, or sad, right? So you enter and you're like right at the audience. And then you have a partner and then you toss it to your partner and then they take it and then they toss it back to you, right? And then that's basically it. <laughs> oh. So yeah. Pretty cool. Pretty useful, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> totally normal that I just took my bra off, right? No, it's not. Sorry. Guess I'm just weird. <laughs> ah! I'm just a little nervous. Oh, God. Start, start over. I can do it. You want this job? Of course. Why? Why do you want it? Because it's going to be great, and working with you. Don't do that. Katie, why do you want to be an actor? Because I love it. Why? Because I like pretending to be someone else. Am, am I doing something wrong? <laughs> you scare me. You scare me. You got this production in the palm of your hand. And no one knows who the fuck you are. I mean, I don't... I don't really matter as much as you do. You're gonna be amazing, and as long as I look good and we have good chemistry or whatever, I think it's going to be great. Huh. 
I think you're right. Where's that gift I got you? Will you teach me? What? What are you talking about? Teach you what? Like, teach me how to be funny like you. You're funny. I mean, thank you, but like, you're amazing. I know. No, seriously. I'm serious too. I'm I, fuck. I'm fucking serious. You are. Like, <laughs> I am right. No, I was watching you last night, and you're just like so present when you're on stage, and mm -hmm. you're so charismatic. No one can take their eyes off you. It's hard. I'm being serious. I know. That's what I'm talking about. It's <laughs> fucked. I get it. I mean, is that just something you have naturally? Like, have you been like that since you were a kid or whatever? Or did you somehow learn that? I... I don't... I, both? I, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Will you do a scene with me? What? Like, let's improvise a scene right now. No. Come on, I'll start it. Or, oh, wait, okay, let me think. Um, okay. Thank you for my anniversary present. I love it. That's the scene. Thank you for my anniversary present. I love it. This is <laughs> dumb. This sucks. All right, well, I don't know. Will you just tell me then? This is ridiculous. What are you talking about? Just like, tell me how you do what you do. You can teach me. I'll be right back, okay? Okay. Why isn't your phone on? It's been like three hours. Are you still rehearsing or what? Just call me when you can, okay? I went too far. Let's keep exploring together. I want to keep going. I trust you. Everything okay? Yeah, fine. You got a gun today. Are you serious? Yep. Oh my god, that is so fucking cool. You think so? Fuck yeah. 
I mean, I don't have one, but I totally get it. You're gonna want one if shit goes down, right? That is exactly what I was thinking. Mm -hmm. Can I see it? No. Oh, come on. Please, I've never held a gun before. Not gonna happen. Please. I'll be super, super careful with it. I promise. No way. Come on, show it to me. I should go. Stay. I'm gonna head out. Okay, oh. this has been a lot of fun. The fuck are you doing? I'm sorry. Don't do that, okay? Why did you do that? Why did we do that? I don't know. I like you. Fuck. No, stop. Don't go. I'm just... I'm just, I gotta go. Please, I'm sorry. Oh, please. Do you have any idea the size of this thing? And, 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 and what's at stake for me here? Do you? Of course. No, you don't. It's your first fucking job. How could you? Seriously. I mean, I did a pilot last year. So... You have no idea what it's like to direct something, let alone something that you wrote. I have people calling me constantly, asking me questions. I created a fucking monster here, and now it's eating me alive, okay? Look, I get it. You are under so much pressure. But, you know, you're brilliant, and everyone knows it. This project is going to be huge for you. Huge! <laughs> and, you know, you just won an Oscar. I mean, most people can barely even dream of finding that kind of success, and you did it. And, and you will always have that. This miniseries is going to be amazing. But even if it isn't, you've already proven yourself to the whole world. Why am I so scared? I get it. Having this kind of power is really scary. Sorry for putting you through all this. It's okay. You're a beautiful, intelligent, sexy woman. Nobody should ever tell you otherwise. Oh. Right. Stop. I shouldn't. You said you were my maiden. I am. But I... It's me. I shouldn't. I can't. I... You have to. But I... I'm a master. What the fuck? Oh, my God. Oh it's not. It's not what it looks like. What the fuck are you doing? Nothing. It's okay, no need to get upset here. Oh, hey, what's Hey, don't touch my fucking dog, man. What are you doing to my girlfriend? Lofi, come here. Hey, we were just exploring character stuff. Exploring character stuff? What the fuck is wrong with you? Hey, don't talk to her like that. Hey, you better watch it, man, all right? You watch it, okay? You're spending our last night together fight up making out with this D-bag? We wow. weren't making out. Fuck you guys. Paul? Paul, can I talk to you for a second? Oh, wow. <laughs> Whoa, oh my god, are you Brian J. Macy? Oh boy. Wow. What are you doing here? Who are you? This is an improv friend of mine. Yeah, I, I'm no one. I just followed you here because I felt like I needed to apologize right away for what just happened. What just happened? Paul and I just kissed. Oh. I know, I'm sorry. It was totally my fault. I knew he had a girlfriend. And I'm a big fan of yours, by the way. You were great in that web series you guys did. And you, I just, I can't believe I'm in the same room as Brian J. Macy. <laughs> I'm just freaking out. 
Sorry, I just I'm, I just wanted to say that I'm sorry for doing that, and I hope it doesn't destroy your guys' relationship in any way because that would really suck. Wow, looks like we're not the only ones, huh? <laughs> fuck you, dude. You fucking kiss this girl? Who the fuck is she? Does it matter? I mean, there's obviously something going on between them, so. Is there? No, there's not. And you, you better fucking watch it, man, okay? Because I will shoot you in the face. I am not kidding. Paul, oh. calm down. <laughs> You're gonna shoot me yeah. in the face. Shoot me? Who the fuck are you gonna shoot me with? My gun. She Ooh. doesn't have a gun. Yes, he does. Uh, go ahead. Come on. Pull your gun out, bro. Let me see your fucking gun. Come on, see show me man. Yeah, come on. Whip it out. Oh, my God. How did you get that? Okay, don't worry about it. Go. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. No gun. Are you okay? Oh, my God. Paul, are you okay? Paul, are you okay? Get out of here. You're going to hear from my lawyers, you fuck. And you're fired. Wait. Brian, wait. So I don't leave. He just didn't understand. Don't go. Oh, my God. Paul, are you okay? You should go. I'm so sorry. It's fine. It's my fault, too. Just get get out of here. Please leave. Now. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. We are fucking done. Come on, Katie. No, you just lost me the best job of my life. And you're fucking cheating on me. I'm not cheating on you, okay? I coached that girl's fucking improv group and it was only a kiss. Only a kiss? Yes, which is a lot less than I fucking walked in on. She's certainly not dressed like a fucking dominatrix. We were fucking rehearsing. That is bullshit. <laughs> Fuck. Oh my God. Oh my God. I took out all the bullets. Obviously not, you fucking idiot. I don't want to be your dog I don't even want to be around If I ever see you again Baby It'd be too soon for me Right now Now Never said I want to climb no mountains I don't think that I can make these plans with you It's just not fair to you I don't want to be in love I don't really like the way it feels I'll just write a bunch of songs and maybe I can learn a way to live right now and I never said I want to climb no mountain don't think that I can make these plans Fuck. this isn't all your fault I shouldn't have done all that stuff with Brian. I felt like I should. I don't know, anyway. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about that. But I still think we should take a break. I mean, you pulled a gun on someone, Paul. I didn't think it had bullets. Still. For you to do that or whatever. Oh, this chick. I don't even like her. It doesn't matter at this point, honestly. <sighs> Katie, please. I'm sorry. It's over, it really is. You can um, pick up your stuff or whatever, whenever, but just, I just want to be alone right now. You look, you look like shit. I need your help. All right.
sir? Are you expecting a package? No, Dennis. Sorry, sir. Actually, Dennis, I think that may be my Sterling Silver Director's chair. Okay, sir. Well, hey, uh, got a delivery. Okay, I'll sign for it. Uh, no, you don't have to. Uh, I'll just bring it in. I gotta bring it in. It's a shipper's request. Sir, yeah. you're welcome, Brian J. Macy. You need me to sign for that? Or nope, we're good. No signature required. Fantastic, Dennis. Can you yeah. show him the door? Let's go ahead and head out. No, I gotta be here. No, you don't. I gotta, I Come gotta, on. I gotta be the railway people. What? Hey, Come on. Brian, Brian, I know this is crazy that I'm breaking into your house. I just, I need to talk to you for one second, please. First of all, I want to apologize. It was idiotic and dangerous for me to pull out that gun. I shouldn't have done that. And I hope that you can accept my apology. Fine. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Besides that, I'm here to ask you beg you to reconsider and give Katie the job back. She doesn't deserve to be punished just because she has a crazy, jealous boyfriend. Well, had. She broke up with me, but I owe it to her to at least try to right my wrongs. Please. Please. Let Katie play this role. No. What's done is done. Dennis, get these assholes out of my house, right, please. Come on. Wait, Mr. Mason. No, I'm done, yes. No, but this, this is just like the Master's Maiden. Exactly. This is just like chapter five, when uh, Charlie almost banishes Lucy from his manor in Canterbury after he's threatened by Sir Lyons of Nottinghamshire. Okay. Sir Lyons and Lucy were arranged to be married, right? But then her father suddenly dies and the prearrangement became void, which is great because by that point, Lucy is totally in love with Charlie. And then Sir Lyons, think Paul, is this uh, jealous, petty man who can't get over Lucy, right? So when Sir Lyons walks in on Lucy and Charlie as Charlie's punishing her because she overboiled the sheep's pudding and he draws his sword, yeah, Charlie banished her at first, but then he realized that it was Sir Lion's fault the whole time. And again, think Paul when I say Sir Lion's, because he's whiny and he's insecure and no impulse control, right? But that doesn't mean that Lucy should be banished. Katie. I think, I think you should let Katie back in the manor. You need to get your Lucy back. I got your job back. What? I went to Brian's and I begged him for it. It's a long story. Jim was involved. But yeah. Oh my God. I went to Brian's to convince him and he gave you the job back. Paul, oh, thank you. Oh my God. That's oh, so exciting. Oh. oh, thank you. Oh, um. What? Um. 
I'm sorry. I just, uh, I'm so grateful that you got my job back, but I, I still think we need a break. No, don't what? situation was awful, but, you know, in a way, I'm glad it all went down this way. The past 24 hours has brought so much stuff to light, especially with me being in England. I just, I don't know how we're going to fix it. I know everything's not better just because I got your job back. The truth is that I never really loved you. I thought I did. And I said I did. But I've been so angry and jealous and insecure. There's no way that I really could have. So I'm sorry. I'm very sorry that I didn't love you the way that you deserve to be loved. It's okay. Uh, can I hang out until you leave? Of course. Well, thanks. You want to help me back? Well, I mean, that's usually an ordeal with you. <laughs> but yeah, I would love to do that. <laughs> I just wanted you to get old. Like the army green volvo and the toys we sold like the books that you read me and the jokes you told i just wanted you to get old i just wanted you to get old Like vacations in Tahoe and your skiing poles, the ones I held on too tightly till you said let go. Oh, I just wanted you to get old. And I'm sorry. Hey, what are you doing? I'm sorry. What are you doing? I'm not going anywhere. I just hope Brian and quit. 
Why? It just, it just wasn't worth it. Look, you were right when you said that you didn't love me the way that I deserve to be loved. But I didn't love you the right way either. But we should, because we deserve it. So let's do that. Okay. I love you. I love you too. Coffee, you want something? No, I'm good. 